let's take a moment. We do have a game reserve here, just so you can see. We are being vectored and monitored, but let's just take a look and see what kind of restrictions might exist for this Nisqually reserve here. We're getting a little low, so there we are. Oh, da 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 turn right, direct Zogi, cross Zogi at 4,000, clear RNF, straight into runway 2 approach. Direct to Zogi at uh, 4,000, name the uh, 104, clear RNF, runway 2. Number 704, Mike Delta, are you direct Penco? Digging, okay, Roger. Ah, they must be way up north. Oh, it must be Bremerton. I've, th those uh, fixes sound familiar. I know I've shot that approach, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, it's Bremerton 2022, or 02 and 22. Well, it'll be nice to get on the ground. There's a handful of times where you're like, oh, it's nice to just get out of the airplane because today it's, it's a rodeo up here, bud. It's once pretty we, bumpy. It's not bad up here, but once we get down again, <laughs> yeah. we're going to be in the sauce. Okay, so we are still inbound Hobco. We'll get ourselves lined up for, again, a VOR-35. So, we're going to need to tune in 113.4. Oh, it's already in there. That was easy. With an inbound course of 3.56. Look at all those houses, man. They're just stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Jeez. There's 3.5 three, by 3.6. Three, it amazes me. This is going to be a step down, so upon Joe Glue at 4,200, uh, we better climb. Time for us to get up to our initial approach fix. November 36, Juliet Charlie, practice approach is approved. No IFR separate service will be provided. You can maintain uh, the, just maintain VFR at all times, and you can resume on navigation to Joe Glue. Not ready. Alrighty, <clears throat> resume on navigation, remain VFR, and we are inbound for, we'll cross Joe Glue. Uh, let us know when you're ready to switch over to local frequency. Roger. So, we're going to overfly. Uh, looks like a little bit to the right of the airfield. Not what I'm seeing here, but oh no, left of it. That's right. Okay, so we're right where we think we are. Still in. And still inbound for Hobco. Oh, we were cleared direct Joe Glue, so we'll go. We'll line ourselves up. 4200 crossing Joe Glue. November 7, Mike Delta, climb and maintain 5000. Oh. Procedure. Here we are, Hobco. Navy 104. There's two or three in the pattern at Bremerton. Change your advisory is approved. Report your cancellation of IFR with me on the ground. It'll be on this frequency. It'll be on frequency 127.1. 27.1 on the ground to cancel, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. And Navy okay. 104 copies 127.1 on, on the ground. Switch on CTAF. Huh. Yeah, well, we're going to have to loiter here just a little bit because we can't really get any higher. We're getting into the clouds, so. Go ahead and fly. And approach, did you want 6 relay charter to remain with you for now? Yeah, stay with me until you're, you're, you're dog glue inbound for the approach. Sounds good. Would you like to cue us or just whenever we're ready we'll switch over? Um, no, let me know. Just, um, yeah, just let me know when you're uh, dog glue inbound. Perfect, we'll let you know uh, we're going to put Joe Glue inbound, and uh, we're actually getting into the clouds here about 3,900 feet, so I'm going to fire up for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, where's our nav? Let's get ourselves on track. Fault nav. As Joe Glue is to our left. I don't know about that. 
Anyway, whatever. This is suggesting that we turn the R2. Oh, it's to our right. I don't know what it's talking about. Anyway. Let's do this. Let's do a map and zoom out. I don't like that either. Hospice is right below us there. I don't know if you've ever been into there. Not missing much. Okay, and we're on nav, so we'll just kind of hook it and bring it in. That later is going to push us down a little bit. We'll fly right under it here. Okay, so that's going to be a VOR 35 inbound course five or 356. Missed approach is a climb to 4000 direct Oli Vortec on the 356 to Zavit. And we want to maintain while well, we can. We'd like to maintain 4200 feet descending upon Joe Glue down to Scoot to 1700. Again, we can't quite accommodate that, but that's the idea. <laughs> and let's get out and weather one more time. On the airport, advise initial contact, give information Zulu. Olympia Tower information Zulu 2254 observation wind 030 at 11 visibility 10 ceiling 8500 overcast temperature 14 dew point minus. That's not the ceiling I'm seeing. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, and that's good though. The winds are starting to straighten out with the runway just a little bit. I like that a little better. There would be good, but at least we got a little bit more of a headwind instead of a, just a crazy, crazy crosswind. Now we got something of a tailwind. Not a big one though. I'm showing uh, 108 across the ground um, against you know, 105 here, so that's not terrible. It's starting to settle down as it started to toss me <laughs> up right. or down. Okay. I hope this video turns out. Well, we'll try to keep, we got 2,800, let's climb on up a little ways. It'd be nice to get into our actual uh, transition altitude and intercept where we're supposed to, but that, that's not something we could do today, so. There's our course there. Oh. <laughs> There's our course inbound, so we're, we're still flying out to our outbound, and we'll turn and intercept that. Let's see how much further we have here. So we're still headed for I want Joe Glue direct, and that's where it says we're at. Activate Lake Hob Code to Joe Glue. Well, that's not. Or six four zero zero Quebec Seattle stay request. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and keep for Hob Glue. Well, that's not what. Let's do it. Okay. Right, whatever. I'll just keep flying on. Pretty good. Number zero zero Quebec Squawk six. I'm sorry, four six five four. There's Scoot. That's our next fix. It's right out there. Can you see it? You're not looking hard enough. No, I'm not. It's right there, fool. Bremer zero zero Quebec, we're to contact five miles off the Bremerton. That's in there. What, what now? Snow? <laughs> oh, no. We got snow. That we do. Here, want me to flip the de-icer switch? I just did. Oh, okay. Closest thing we got. <laughs> I guess we could climb a little bit. I don't want to take too long here, but if we can climb up, try to respect our clearances here. 
Of course, we've been cleared to just, at our own discretion, climb and send it as appropriate to maintain VFR. That sound like control uh, center's too busy today, or not center, but approach. So that's yeah, good. it didn't sound very busy at all. Um, it's nice that they're able to help us out a little bit and play around. VFR approach or an IFR approach takes you a long ways from the runway. It does. Again, we were still looking for uh, transition. It actually looks like. In between here, da, da, da. that's right there. So yeah, uh, certainly 4,500. And we're almost there. We're still a ways away. Shit, we're. What's his circle telling me? Ten miles. Both to. About to do a 180 and just cut in on Joe Clue. I don't want to go all the way out to Hobco. We're trying to get her done here. Hey, look at that, we're up to where we're supposed to be now.